Well, we've had a great three days. Tom and I have gone to the DMV, we've done our import stuff, driven at night, because we, we love to drive at night, Tom and I. I don't know why it ended up being like that. But we've loaded a smart car, unloaded a smart car, loaded a smart car, unloaded. We've gone for two trips on the highway, truck and trailer in tow. We're kind of sitting here relaxed this morning. And I'm going to ask a few questions of Tom. I'd like him to share with everyone what his plans are and what his dreams are. Let me turn the camera around for you. Well, Tom, sitting in front of your trailer is Micah. And where's he going to take you? Well, quite a few places. But I want to say before I get started on that, um, that in the introduction, Greg forgot to mention, and I found out that Greg really loves fish restaurants. So if any of you have the opportunity to go with Greg, make sure you take him out to a fish restaurant because we really supported Anthony's restaurant here in the Anacortes. Yes, areas. yes we did. Yes. We certainly did. That was great. <laughs> so where are my tours, travels going to take me? Um, I might uh, just kind of fill you in as to how I got to this um, decision or to this point in life uh, that I decided to do this. Of course in the uh, 60s I started off my wife and I started off with a uh, pickup, pickup camper, and actually we traveled to Kamloops, BC. That was one of our longest trips in that, and had a uh, good time. And uh, we had that for about three or four years. Eventually, we got a pull-behind trailer, and uh, really enjoyed that. We had young kids at the time, and and uh, did a lot of local uh, camping, and went on a trip or two and kept that until we went to or moved to California and then we got rid of all that stuff because my sense of looking at campgrounds and facilities down there was that they were way too crowded and it did not look like enjoyable camping to me. Uh, eventually then I ended up with another pickup and a camper uh, only for a short time. Didn't um, We did some traveling through Oregon and Washington and then um, decided to look at something a little more um, luxurious, I guess, in a sense, and uh, began looking at fifth wheels and uh, ended up with the fifth wheel here, which um, I've had for since 1999. And the longest trip that I've made in it was across the U.S., six and a half weeks. We went across the U.S. and uh, the northern area, we were in snowstorms and blizzards and all that stuff. And then uh, we went the southern route through Arizona, California. and uh, But it was very, very enjoyable. The uh, It's been a dream of mine for a good number of years. Uh, it started out probably in the 60s with the pickup and a camper. I uh, didn't know whether I would like it, found that I really enjoyed it knew probably in the 70s sometime that what I really wanted to do eventually when I retired was to go full-time RVing and uh, always had that curiosity, that dream, the uh, wanting to see America and uh, with the job that I had I can say that I was in most every state uh, to begin with uh, but those were only for short meetings. You'd get to see the inside of uh, board meeting rooms and uh, maybe the outside of the building, a little bit of the city between the meeting room and the airport. And that uh, d didn't really satisfy my curiosity. I love to be around people. I want to uh, um, see the local uh, flavors of the area, be able to take in a lot of the cuisine, of course and, uh, and kind of fulfill that dream. I, this past uh, year and a half, I finally decided that if I was going to fulfill my dream, I needed to get on with it because time is passing on. And uh, so I sold the place, uh, sold everything, all the belongings and everything. So and moved just what I needed into the fifth wheel. And that was a very, very traumatic experience. But I was uh, 
uh, a little concerned about what I was going to pull it with, and because uh, it is a fairly heavy, it's not an extremely heavy fifth wheel, and uh, I began searching on the website, and that's when I ran across the RV haulers, and uh, Greg and I did a lot of talking on the on the phone over that, and eventually decided that's just what I needed to do was to uh, go that particular route. One of the, uh, and of course I needed to have a goal in mind as to what I wanted to do in my traveling, full timing, and uh, initially, and I'm still pretty much tied to that at this point in time, is I want to do the perimeter of the U.S., but at the same time I'm doing that is to do the lighthouses. I've always kind of had an interest in lighthouses. I've been in a few, I've never uh, served in the Coast Guard or in those lighthouse positions, but I just enjoy, one, the sights of them um, and the sounds, especially on the water and everything. Um, so my first journey, though, will probably not feel too much of that. My first goal um, is when I, right now I'm in Washington, I'll go to California to be with family. And then when I leave family in May, uh, I will head to British Columbia and uh, start at Vancouver. And I want to do the Trans-Canada Highway and go across to Nova Scotia or New Brunswick and that area, be there in September, uh, roughly the first part of September then do the fall colors down the eastern seaboard and go down the east coast as far as I can and eventually head over to Kansas then where I would uh, tie in with the uh, HDT rally. Uh, I did a little reading on the internet and that looks very exciting to me and uh, probably should have done that before I got all into all of this but uh, I don't think that that would have changed my mind at all, but I really expect to uh, go there to learn and, and to develop any skills and, and increase my knowledge. So that's pretty much uh, where I uh, started 40 years ago, and uh, now I'm hopefully going to have at least 10 years, maybe, um, hopefully more of this kind of lifestyle. we see how it goes. I'm really enjoying it so far, but also with the RV hauler, now looking forward to uh, getting on the road. As Greg said, we uh, did a little bit of night driving, but we yesterday we did a little bit of day driving, and that was a lot of fun. And it, I feel much more relaxed with it now than I did the first night that he got here and had me out on the road with the uh, RV hauler. I was, uh, needless to say, very nervous, excited, and uh, ecstatic at the same time. And I don't know how you blend all those emotions, but it was fulfilled. We or couldn't filled. wait. We're not going <laughs> to wait true. to go drive. <laughs> That's very true. Yeah. I, uh, when Greg invited me down or, or told me to come down to the motel and meet Micah, uh, I thought I would probably just go down and shake hands with him and look at the truck and admire and all that, but nope, he had me on the road probably within 15 minutes. And uh, it was fun. It's been really a great time uh, spending time with Greg, getting to know him. I'd never met him on the phone before, and uh, or uh, and had never met him in person, only mm -hmm. met him in, on the phone. And uh, so it was good to put the face, the name, the the character all together at the same time, and it's been a re really enjoyable experience. So, Well, I wish you safe travels. Thank you for your business, Tom. And uh, hopefully you'll pass through Calgary on Trans-Canada, because I'm only uh, 15 minutes off that highway, so we'll disown you if you don't stop by. Uh, yes, as we've talked, <laughs> I will be seeing you and uh, going to the Calgary ro Rodeo. That's uh, oh, the stampede. one of my dreams, too. The stampede, the stampede, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yep. So. Well, safe travels, Tom, and thank you. Thank you, Greg.